It's the Esco Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Jayco. He ruined everyone's plans today, KJ. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> because I had to stop what I was doing and listen to Jayco's surprise new album, Might Delete Later. Now, he has been dropping, like, teases and clues here and there and, you know, little short clips of songs and stuff. But we didn't know he was going to do this, KJ. No. We didn't know he was going to do this. And more importantly... On this album, Mike Delete Later, is a response to Kendrick Lamar's verse on Like That. So, uh, a lot of people are talking about this, obviously. The song is called Seven Minute Drill. Uh, what did you think about it, KJ, your first listen? Um, so, I kind of agree with what people are saying online, that he could have went a little harder True. on Kendrick. I felt like he took it easy on him. Like It's like a warning. Right. Like, I didn't want to have to do this to you, so I'm going to keep it cute, but if you keep bothering me... Is going down. Right. He even says it. He says this is merely a warning yeah. uh, to back down. You know what I'm saying? And he, I feel like he does, like, compliment him. He's like, I don't want to do this. Right. You know, I love this guy. But he's like, hey, I, I, you forced my hand a little bit. Basically. I also feel like this is, like you said, this is a warning shot. And I feel like he's trying to bring Kendrick all the way out. He's yeah. like, come all the way outside, bro. Let's see if you're really here. Which is like, you know, some of the lyrics, too, talking about four albums in 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, J. Cole also says that uh, Kendrick Lamar is averaging one hard verse like every 30 months or something. If he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing him, which is actually true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, see, I mean, it's, it's actually true. I mean, were we thinking about Kendrick Lamar before he jumped on like that? No. No. He wasn't a part of any discussion. As great as he is, but we weren't thinking of him. J. Cole's right about that. I think there's one lyric that uh, that that definitely stings more than others. Uh, it's the, where he talks about his albums, KJ. Now, I have to do the clean version of these lyrics, so bear with me. But you'll get the point. <laughs> uh, your first ish was classic. Your last ish was tragic. Obviously, talking about Good Kid, Mad City, his first album. Uh, his last album, Mr. Morale and the, uh, and the Big Steppers. Uh, here's a line that I think uh, has a lot of people divided and definitely stings. Your second ish put us to sleep. But they gassed it, talking about to pimp a butterfly, which was critically acclaimed. But if we're being honest, when people go back and listen to Kendrick Lamar, how many people are going to listen to pimp a butterfly? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're going to Damn and Good Kid Mad City before they go to to pimp a butterfly or Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Did you see? I feel and I see people arguing about this that line specifically online right now. Yeah, uh, I think like half are saying, "Yeah, he's right." Finally, somebody said it that to pimp a butterfly is boring. <laughs> But I don't know. What do you think, KJ? Uh, yeah, I think Damn For Me is like the only album I like actually really, really like. Go back to and, and listen and we'll to. And we'll go back and listen to. Yeah, they, uh, Damn and Good Kid, Mad City are just awesome. But uh, I think that's that that one definitely hurt uh, a lot of feelings out there. <laughs> <laughs> Especially a lot of people in Kendrick's camp. I see them tweeting a lot of stuff today that they normally don't tweet. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, some other lyrics that uh, definitely caught my attention. Uh, J. Cole says, I got here off of bars. Not no controversy. Saying that, you know, he didn't need to diss people to make noise. You know what I'm saying, KJ? Like Kendrick has done before. And then J. Cole says, funny thing about it, I don't even want the prestige. F the Grammys. I think that lines uh, uh, directly about um, whenever they make the case about the big three, I feel like Kendrick fans always bring up uh, the fact that Kendrick gets all the Grammy nominations and wins all the Grammys and yeah. all that stuff. So, and J. Cole's like, F your Grammys. <laughs> 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 so I think that's definitely a respond to uh, that argument that Kendrick fans make for Kendrick being the, the top dog. You know what I'm saying? And one more uh, line that uh, definitely caught my attention. Now I was waiting for someone to do this. Uh, he, J. Cole says, your arms might be too short to box with the God. I was waiting for somebody to talk about Kendrick's height, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, thinking of the things. I was like, what can they even diss Kendrick about? I was like, somebody's going to diss him about his height. And uh, definitely they dissed him about his height. Because Kendrick, I think Google says he's, like, 5'5". Five, five. Okay? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, 5'5". Five, five. I just looked it up right now. 5'5". Five, five. Let's see J. Cole's. Which, how, how tall is J. Cole? I think he's in. He's six something. He's a tall guy. Remember, he played basketball. Yeah. He's 6'2". Oh, so wow. J. Cole's 6'2". Uh, Kendrick's 5'5". Five, five. And they also called him a Pilates instructor. As we know, <laughs> like, Kendrick is also in, like, super way into fitness. <laughs> I think he dissed him a couple of times throughout this entire album, though. I was I was listening to it too. So uh, here's the thing, though. I wonder, I wonder, like where else? Like you said, it's a warning chat. But where else can uh, J Cole and 
And Drake, if he ever decides to diss him, where can they go with Kendrick? Because Kendrick is so, like, low-key. Like, how, do people even know that much about him to diss him like that, to you really know? stick it to him? I don't think so. I think that kind of gives Kendrick the advantage because Drake is all the way out there on social media. There's so many things you can use against Drake. J. Cole, he's not as out there as Drake, but he's still a little bit out there. But Kendrick, we don't know much about him. He's such, like, low-key. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like Kendrick does have an advantage here. What do you think? He definitely does. <laughs> Because like you said, no one knows anything about Kendrick, like, at all. Like, did, did J. Cole use everything already? You know, what else are you going to talk about? You're going to talk about album sales and I don't know. The fact that he doesn't put, I, I don't know. But after all this is said and done, as of right now, I think Kendrick, Kendrick definitely did more on Like That. In one verse and Like That than J. Cole did in this song. I, I still give Kendrick the advantage so far. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> So you got to make a decision, KJ. I'm oh, going Ken. Man. I'm doing Kendrick one, uh, J Cole 0. 0.5, yeah. and then and Drake zero as of right now. Right. Drake hasn't <laughs> Drake is definitely zero because Drake hasn't done nothing yet. All he's been doing is throwing shade on his Instagram all, post. All he's been doing is throwing shade, <laughs> and uh, I think like well, like that is just a better song because yeah. you got freaking Metro booming. It, there was a shock value of like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we didn't know. That Kendrick was on it, and then we didn't know he was going to diss Drake and J. Cole. So yeah. the shock value of it all, Future's on it, and then that Metro beat, I think, like that, uh, wins round one, KJ. Yeah, I definitely will be bumping like that more than 7-Minute Drill. Yeah, for but sure. I like 7-Minute Drill. When I was listening to it, the ride, it sounded really good. So I definitely, I'm definitely i definitely going to be rocking the boat, but I say Kendrick's still in the lead right now. Hey, for more episodes of the Esco Let's Go podcast, just follow, like, subscribe. Uh, wherever you listen to podcasts, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O, all one word, Esco Let's Go. Thanks for listening.